Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about the blackout armor update or armor tuning that happened in update 1.10 and I'm hoping that in this video we can kind of get to the bottom of this because I'm kind of just wondering what they're thinking. So if you guys have anything to say, let me make sure you guys leave it in the comment section down below. Now first things first, I want to congratulate Xbox and PC, you guys finally got the winter update. Hope you guys are enjoying that, I actually enjoy some of the stuff but Ultimately, I feel like they could have done a better job on like a w whole winter event. I think it's cool because you won't see these items again until like next year. Hopefully, this Call of Duty lasts quite a bit of time. But I, you know, I've seen a lot of people saying that they don't even enjoy the Black Ops 4, and it's kind of bad. And I can see where they're coming from, but that's another video entirely, and we're not going to ramble about that today. But like I said, armor tuning. Now, when I read these patch notes last night, I was kind of taken aback because I didn't realize really what they were saying and it and to me it kind of seems like all the armor got nerfed level two and level three armor now have the same durability to match level one so in this sense whatever like if you picked up a level one a level two or a level three it doesn't matter what you pick up because all the armor is the same so why not just either put the armor as one set like our one specific type of armor kind of like shields in fortnite like you know there's no different types of shields i mean there's there's different types of shields as how you pick them up but there's not different types of shields in general it's one big shield so and my thing is is like why not just do it like that why would you go through the hassle of trying to switch things up and make it so all of the armor pretty much has the same durability i'm super confused and i'm not sure that they necessarily know what they're doing with armor i think that's what updates happen or how updates happen is they're trying to figure out the best balance and this is not it at this point in time i kind of wish that they would have left it the same way that the game released in i know that a lot of people didn't really find it that great but it was at least manageable and right now i don't even feel like there's a reason to pick up any different types of armor now they went through different like times like during the beta the armor was too broken the armor was too powerful and it very it felt very hard to kill people and if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago when the actual armor update came to one that where you could repair your armor i in fact said that there that the armor was a little bit too strong and in certain situations it was too strong except for against specific weapon types kind of like you know uh the spitfire but because everything got a nerf they're kind of trying to fix that at this current moment and they're making it so when you play the game you have a higher chance of breaking that person's armor because originally it didn't seem like it was that has um, that much of a hassle to get away from the opponent in fact uh, in certain situations being far enough away from the opponent being able to get inside repair your armor and then go back at the fight they've also added a little bit of an extra the well they've added an extra time an extra second in fact to the armor itself to or to the armor plates itself to make it so you in fact are like like it takes a little bit longer and i guess that's i guess that's fine but in my head i'm kind of like if you're already gonna nerf the amount of like armor plates you can have which they reduced it from 10 to 5 if you guys didn't know then what is the point in actually like making it so you don't have like you you, you don't you, it takes more time as well it's almost as if they're they've added in this new feature and instead of taking it out because they feel like it's a bad idea, they're going to make it so it's basically like unusable in a way. Or m maybe not your quickest option. Now, for you to change the way the game is played and then to immediately fix it again, like or trying to change it again, I feel like that's a big problem. So one last thing that i want to go over and cover and is the uh the paladin itself the sniper strongest sniper inside of blackout it is a very fun weapon to use they increase the paladin damage so in order to actually kill somebody it only takes two shots um it's only it's it's gonna take three shots if they have 200 health uh so if they pop the trauma kit if they have level three any other time it's going to take two shots and that's it so if you can pop off those two shots well it, it, it takes less in certain situations like if they have no armor on if you hit them in the head the first time it's, it's still gonna take it anyways it takes two sniper shots with level three and trauma kit as well uh so that so that's thing to the head though it takes two to the head so that's those are very important things 
I'd like to bring you guys a lot of information on Blackout, one being it being the most fun battle royale in my personal opinion, it being the most fun battle royale at the moment, but right now, it's kind of got me in this weird position because I'm in the situation where I don't feel as if the game knows what it's doing and do doesn't know what it's trying to either become or what it's trying to be in the first place. And the games like PUBG and Fortnite kind of know what they want to do with themselves. They already have different plans in motion. And I don't feel like that. I feel like it kind of goes off of whatever they think is right at the moment. And they don't take that much time to really think about it in the, in the initial sense. Because I don't think that the best way to respond is nerfing armor plates and nerfing the other types of armor to where there's basically only one type of armor in the game. So I, I kind of want to know what you guys want to think in the or what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to know how you guys feel about armor and blackout in general because I'm kind of at the point where I don't know how to play the game. You know what I mean? It kind of seems like I don't know what to pick up. I don't know what to do. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure you guys uh, leave a like and click that sub button if you guys enjoyed the content along with that bell to be notified on all my future blackout content. And thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Hope you guys have a nice, red, nice, wonderful rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.